Well, this place is ready. We'll be right back to get this series started in just a minute. All right, just about set to go. And on the hill in this one, Ranger Suarez. Well, he comes at hitters with a five-pitch mix, so for him, it's always interesting to see how he utilizes those weapons. He may lean on one or two pitches, depending on how things are going and how things are working, but if he can control four or even five of those offerings, look out, hitters. It's going to be a tough day. He's really going to be able to keep those guys off balance. And he deals. Now this is in the air down the line. Castellanos gets under it. Makes the catch for the out. Cattell Marte up to the plate. The switch hitter batting right. In the first pitch misses for ball one. There's a strike. Definitely not a pitch location you're expecting up there as a hitter when you know the guy's got a good sinker ball. If you can get in that location, boy, you've got to look top to bottom, and that's going to make it very difficult to hit. So now one and two. Swings, throw it in, that's a strikeout. Here's Tommy Pham. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. There's a strike. This guy's not wasting any pitches. Hitters got to get into swing mode. This is a good time to expand the zone. Throw something maybe down in the dirt. Now will bullet to second base, but he's got it to end the inning. Back here in Philadelphia, and on the mound in this one, Brandon Fatt. He may not dominate, but he always keeps the club in the game. If you can score runs, you have a really good chance to win with him on the mound today. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. On the ground. Sneaks through, base hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff nod. Waste no time there. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team to bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Trey Turner at the plate. Bat picks the first. Oh, Schwarber it. dives back in safely. Chris, Trey Turner's turned into one of the best all-around players in the game. You think speed with Trey Turner, but a guy who impacts the game with his slug as well. Line drive, dive, and he's got it. Over to Perdomo. That's one. Oh, to first, that. not in time. Great effort there. Just a beautiful play right there to get it out. He dives to make the stop. Then a nice feed from his knees. Knew he didn't have time to get up and make that throw. The throw beats the runner. That's that internal clock working. Here's Bryce Harper. Now move to first. No, he's safe. Turner runs. Pitch in for a strike. And it's safe. It's a stolen base. Singy, he definitely showed off the wheels there. Yeah, and it turned out to be a bang-bang play. StatCast gives us the data, and that stolen base wasn't possible without that sprint speed. And there's a foul ball. The pitch. That's out to center field. Makes the grab, and there's two gone. And now it's Alec Bohm. 
bat. Checks the runner. And he's back in there. This would be huge right here if they could get on the board and be the first ones to score in this one with the home field advantage. Get that crowd behind you and just intimidate the opposition a little bit more. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes. Turner on its second with two down. Next pitch is outside. He's clearly trying to work him away here. Both pitches off the plate. If you really want to put the ball in play, you're going to have to stay back and drive it to the opposite field. Move to second, and Turner's back in. Two zero, -oh. and that one fouled off. Well, he got challenged with a good fastball right there. Just couldn't catch up. Two outs and one in scoring position. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. The throw in. Not in time. He beat it, and they got the lead. And it's 1-0. Well, there you go. The RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring it back. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. This is Bryson's stop. Back picks over, and he's back in safely. Ball one, no strikes. Bounce to the right side. On to first. That ends the inning. So one run in the inning on this base hit. It's an early 1-0 lead. You're watching the National League Division Series on the show. And welcome back. And now it's Christian Walker. The first base hit. Christian Walker. The pitch. There's a strike. Back toward him with the breaking ball. Just got the corner. There's nothing you can really do with that. Next offering is fouled back. The line of the pitch. And that one just missed off the outside edge. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Next one in the dirt. The pitch. He goes down looking. And here's the catcher, Gabriel Moreno. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Good eye right there. Boog, our man, Daryl Parker, DP, at home plate for this one. Pretty average size strike zone, but the book on him is that it sort of moves around. You can't always count on how he's going to call it from game to game. Line drive. Castellanos pulls it down, and there are two away. Yeah, he's one of those umpires that I have to see make his call on a borderline pitch before I start making my call. Like you said, it's not always predictable, but it's pretty fair for the most part. Lourdes oh. Goriel Jr. in the box here. Let's that one go for a ball. And here it comes. That one oh, off the mark, and it's two and one. This to third, boom. Fires across the diamond, and that is the third out of the inning. So they go quietly there. Now to the bottom of the second. So out of the pen for the Diamondbacks, Miguel Castro. And this guy can bring it velocity-wise. And up to the plate is JT Real Muto. 
And a pitch. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Chris, do you know what JT stands for in JT Real Muto? Of course, Boog. It's Jacob Tyler. And a foul ball. Righty to the plate. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. Ground ball left side. Bare hand grab. Throw to first. And that's a great play for the out. Hey man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent pace. Brandon Marsh steps to the plate. He's someone that really beats up on right-handed pitching. The lefties, however, give him a little bit more trouble. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Thomas makes the catch in and over. Phillies go down quietly in the inning, but they lead it one to nothing. All set for the start of the inning. Alec Thomas now. Now time is called here. Pitching coach on his way out to the mound. Suarez back to work. Good eye right there. There's a strike. This one pulled down the line. It's hammered. This one hooking. It's got a chance. Ow. Oh, man. That stays fair. We got a new ball game. Great swing. Just couldn't keep it between the lines. He's got to try to bottle that. Do it again. Good job to fight that one off. Spoils a two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Well, he's having a tough time getting the pitch by him. As a hitter, you feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass. It's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it. From your infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. i got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. So they turn to Craig Kimbrell. He's into the game with the base. Is empty. Now it's Evan Longoria's turn. First pitch just misses. Oh, both starters out of this ball game. It now becomes a battle of the bullpens and just seeing which manager can match up better and who's able to get to the finish line. One down, base is empty. They say it went. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. He swung over top of the curveball. Well, I got to think that was the plan all the way. He set him up with a high fastball and then bury that curveball down low to get him swinging. Now, especially with how effective pitchers work up in the zone these days, that's a devastating combination. And now, Geraldo Perdomo. That misses the zone. Two balls, no strikes. Two balls, no strikes. That one fouled off. Here's a 2-1. And that misses off the outside edge. 
Big pitch coming right here. Last thing he wants to do is put the tying run on base, but he can't move on either. And that one is lifted in the air. He can't get there. It's a base hit. Round second, digging for third. Oh, he throws it away. They'll make it up to third, and I'm sure that'll be an error of the outfielder. This is Corbin Carroll trying to deliver as the hero. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at all. You know, this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. The tying run is 90 feet away to third. Diving, and he can't make the play. In comes the runner from third. It's 1-1. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Two outs, runner on first. An outstanding hitter in Cattell Marte. That misses. 1-0. and oh. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. Next pitch is outside. He's getting a little frustrated out there on the mound, getting hit around a little bit. Let's see if he can settle himself down. And time is called for a mound visit now. Big moment in this game, so they'll talk it over. Carroll, the runner at first with two gone. Next offering upstairs. Tommy Pham up next. Pumps in a strike and now three and one the count. And ball four to a board. Well, interesting. He went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. Next to hit for Arizona, Tommy Pham. 0 for 1 so far. Pitch is in there. Strike one. There was a high velocity fastball in the zone. I think a little fresh. Double steal. Pitch misses. Throw to third. Too late. Save. Double steal. Wow, that's a pretty elite throwing arm right there from the catcher spot. Pretty daring for him to try to steal third right there, but he gets the bag. Maybe the element of surprise was what came in because he's not used to guys running on him, and right there, still in third base, probably caught him off guard a little bit. Here's a 1-1. One -one. And another ball. Lots of anxious fans in the ballpark right now. You can feel it. Next offering is in for a strike. Right-hander kicks deals. He wanted that fastball high and tight, looking for a strikeout. Just didn't locate it very well. Christian Walker, the kind of bat that can make a big impact if they can keep it going here. Righty delivers. And a swing and a miss. Huge strikeout there. One run in the inning, but they leave two. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. All tied 1-1. One, one. As we go to the last of the third and digging in for Philadelphia, Johan Rojas. The right-hander back to work. And there's a the ball. And a swing and a miss there. The 1-1. One -one. Bounding ball here. Rolls foul. At the belt and fires. This one in the air center field. Thomas makes the grab one away. So the batting order turns over. Next is the designated hitter, Kyle Schwarber. One for one with a single so far. Swings through that one. 0 oh and 1. When you throw a fastball by a guy like that, I imagine it's got to feel incredible. Look for him to throw it again at some point. 
the 0 1. Now oh. 1 to 1. That one's in there. One and two. One ball, two strikes. Kick Sandios. That misses the zone. Two balls, two strikes. Fights it off. You'll see another. Two out. Trey Turner now. Oh for one. He hit into a fielder's choice his first time. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. Guriel handles the chance. Down quickly, go the Phillies. Score remains deadlocked at one. Back here, Citizens Bank Park. John Chomby with Chris Singleton. And set to lead off the fourth, Christian Walker. Out of the bullpen for the Phillies, Jeff Hoffman. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Hoffman. Here comes a pitch. There's the strike. That's a strike across the top of the zone. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches down an 0-2 hole. He's going to have to battle. Hope he gets a mistake. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, that right there is just a pitcher's pitch. Tailing away from the hitter. Lowing away with some good action at the end. You know, even if he gets the bat to that ball, it's probably just a weak ground ball to the opposite side. Tell you what, that's a tremendous two-strike pitch. And the righty deals. And now the count is even. All tied up here in extra innings. And one and two. The pitch. Battling here as he fouls it away. Got him swinging. Chance to strike out the side now. You talk about the benefits, the advantages of relievers who can come in and get the swing and miss, whether it's inherited runners or maybe a little jam that they get into themselves. Knowing that they can miss the bat, tell you what, that's huge. It can change the ball game. Guriel stands in here. Tried to hold back his swing there, but went around. That's a strike. And a count is 0-2. All tied up and here in extra innings. And down on strikes goes Guriel. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Now on the mound for the Diamondbacks, Kyle Nelson. Bringing in the lefty with the left-handed hitter coming up to hit. Classic bullpen move right here, so we'll see how it works out. The wind of the pitch. Hard hit, right side. And one goal to the fourth as they get the leadoff man. And now for the Phillies, Alec Bohm. Singled and drove in a run his first time through. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Looks like he went up there guessing on the first pitch and was going to sell out to it. Didn't make any contact, though. Swing and a high fly ball. That one out towards left center field. Way back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. Man, I love that route. The ball was smoked. He knew he had to get back to the track right away. Turned his back on the infield. Got to the spot. Turned around and made a nice catch. And first offering is fouled off. Two outs. 
Swing and a ball popped up. That one gets down for a hit. Big knock there to keep the inning alive and an opportunity to put something in the gap and give the Phillies the lead. Yeah. Three pitches last time. He's going. Runner takes off. There's a ball. Throw to second. And he's safe. That was close, but StatCast shows us why he so often seems to be on the safe side of these steal attempts, Chris. Yeah, you see that plus speed, and he needed every last bit of it to swipe that bag. Such a threat on the bases. That one misses, and yeah, that's ball two. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit's probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Now this is a rocket to left. Ball game. They're going crazy in the dugout, and the Phillies walk it off. Well, in the postseason, there's so much excitement, so much energy, everyone hanging on every single pitch. To have a walk-off win under these circumstances, these people have gone crazy. What a nice win, but you got to turn the page quickly to come back for the next game. And your final, 3-1. The Phillies hang on to win it. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi saying so long.